I think it should have carried on because actually it needed to come to a conclusion. And the conclusion, as far as I'm concerned, is unsurprising. And I say it's unsurprising because the, the scale of the allegations made were of such a, an enormous level that they just didn't ring true at all. Um, as you've just heard General Carter, the current Chief of General Staff, say that we have high values and standards and when there is evidence that something has gone wrong, we don't hesitate to call an investigation. And the Baha Musa case in Iraq was a very clear one and that quite quickly came to a conclusion and the court martials followed and disciplinary action was, was taken and some of our procedures were changed as far as that was concerned. But this, when I first heard about this years ago, one thought, this doesn't sound like British soldiers. The Battle of Danny Boy was a very difficult, um, bloody engagement at a very difficult time in Alamara and that particular battalion had an extraordinary tour and to make the suggestion that we had deliberately killed 15 to 20 prisoners, no, British soldiers don't do that. So there's a wider point here, and that is that as it seemed so extraordinary, I think it should have been investigated quickly. And rather like the Crown Prosecution Service has to decide whether there's a reasonable prospect of a conviction. I think a, a quick initial investigation into this, if it had seemed that it was most improbable these things had happened, it should have been dropped. To have gone on for 10 years, cost 31 million pounds, I put a lot of, a lot of people, uh, British soldiers, their families, and Iraqi families as well, through 10 years of worry and wonder, I don't think it's justified at all.